in respect of distressed mortgages. Deputy National, four minutes to make an initial statement. Thank you very much, uh, last controller. Um, I'm glad to have this opportunity to raise the uh, pilot scheme announced by the Central Bank last week for dealing with uh, distressed mortgages. Uh, no one in this House would argue that such a scheme is uh, not badly needed and it is indeed a long overdue. Uh, I think one of the things, though, uh, last Ken Corla, that galls ordinary people most is not just the appalling behaviour of the banks uh, prior to the crash, but their continued arrogance and tardiness in dealing with the aftermath having been bailed, bailed out by uh, the taxpayer. However, while in the face of it, this scheme would appear to be good news, as always, the devil is in the detail. I think this scheme has all the hallmarks of having been designed by the banks for the banks, uh, as they put themselves at the top of the queue to receive the lion's share of whatever, whatever debt. Sorry, Las Corla, could we have some attention to that? Please, please uh, could I ask deputies, please? Could I ask deputies, please, to have the conversation outside the House? Can I resume, please? I, I want to call Deputy Nash to resume his debate. So please, members uh, in the House, could the members please have a conversation outside? Yeah, thank you. Now, Deputy Nash, I hope you have the floor. Sorry, as I was saying, uh, last in Corla, um, well, in the face of the scheme appears to be good news. Uh, as always, the devil isn't a detail. I think the scheme has all the hallmarks, as I said, of, the, of, of, of an operation designed uh, by the banks for the banks. If they, as they, under this scheme, have put themselves at the top of the queue to receive the lion's share uh, of whatever debt can be recovered from distressed mortgages, pushed back out of sight uh, and out of mind and soon to be out of pocket out of the credit unions who serve the ordinary people of this country so well over the years. Uh, I find it frankly immoral that the banks who contributed hugely to the debt crisis that we're in through reckless lending uh, should receive primary protection, primary protection, whilst community-based credit unions that have consistently encouraged responsible saving and lending plans are thrown to the wolves along with uh, credit card providers and backstreet money lenders. I'm not surprised that the League of Credit Unions has, has rejected this uh, proposal en masse. Under this scheme, banks will receive 90% of available payments for debt, while the credit unions will just have to scrap it out with the other unsecured creditors for uh, the remaining 10%. There isn't any doubt that we need to introduce a robust and fair scheme for dealing with distressed mortgage holders. We are all aware of that. But part of that plan must include a facility for mortgage write-downs uh, and write-offs uh, where required. Uh, the banks have already been provided with the funds, uh, arguably, uh, to do this. They must stop burying their heads in the sand and deal with the reality of the situation as we find it as a society. Uh, then and only then can our entire banking and financial sector start to move forward again. Uh, would the Minister agree, uh, and hopefully he will deal with this in his response, uh, that this plan needs to be revisited uh, and communicate that to the Governor of the Central Bank in the interests of uh, all of those who uh, uh, save with credit unions, all of those who work with credit unions, and all of those who value uh, the credit union uh, system in this country. Uh, a, a set of institutions that traditionally has lended very uh, 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 been involved in lending on a very prudential basis and behaves extremely responsibly. I think the uh, credit unions and their members uh, deserve more uh, than what is contained in these uh, pilot proposals. Uh, now the Minister, four minutes to make the Last King Corral, I want to thank um, Deputy Nash for raising this important issue. I've been informed by the Central Bank uh, that this initiative is being implemented to establish on, on a test basis an approach to deal with both secured and unsecured debt. Uh, the pilot scheme to which he refers will uh, take in a sample of approximately 750 cases where borrowers have debts from multiple uh, lenders. In order to establish this situation, <clears throat> the Central Bank has commenced a process to facilitate a voluntary, uh, coordinated approach amongst lenders uh, to the resolution of multiple debts owed uh, by distressed borrowers. An unsustainable debt position has been reached, uh, has been reached by many borrowers, which needs to be addressed for the benefit of both borrowers and lenders alike. The Central Bank envisages that the, that the uh, participants of the pilot framework uh, will be the main retail lending banks and the credit unions uh, that have agreed to participate, as well as certain uh, other unsecured lenders. This pilot framework uh, contains a, a restructuring water, waterfall uh, that will be applied to each borrower uh, that agrees to participate in order to establish the most appropriate modification to put him or her on an affordable repayment path. The pilot framework is expected to commence in June and will operate uh, for a period of three months, after which the results will be assessed to establish the effectiveness of, this, of the framework 
and to determine the appropriate next steps. To be eligible for the fra framework, a borrower must uh, be cooperating with their lenders, as defined under the Code of Conduct on Mortgage Arrears. The framework will apply to borrowers experiencing financial difficulty, uh, but who have taken reasonable steps to maximise income and uh, curtail expenditure. It is important to uh, uh, reassure borrowers who are in a difficulty that their mortgage repayments, that all existing uh, protections afforded by the Central Bank's Consumer Protection Code and Code of Conduct and Mortgage Arrears will apply uh, and will continue to apply uh, to participating borrowers. The F Central Bank is effectively encouraging the involvement of all lenders in the process to ensure maximum effectiveness of this learning and information gathering pilot stage and have a number of lenders engaged to date. The Central Bank has written to all credit unions individually to invite them to participate in the pilot framework. It is confident that the pilot framework will offer outcomes uh, which support borrowers and will allow the central bank to test and learn from this approach. It must be borne in mind, last count, Corla, that a key consideration in a decision to opt out by some lenders will be that the borrowers from these institutions cannot be put on the pilot framework to restructure their debt and cannot avail of the benefits that could be accessible to the borrowers. I'm aware of the concerns expressed by the Irish League of Credit Unions regarding the Central Bank Initiative and its views that the arrangements under the Personal Solvency Act should be applied to the resolution of multiple debts owned by distressed borrowers, including credit unions, credit union members. While that regime will indeed be available, the Central Bank pilot scheme will offer the opportunity for distressed borrowers, including participating credit union members, to resolve their debts without the need to enter into the formal statutory uh, solvents, insolvency process. In this respect, it's important that, where possible, credit union members are not left with a, uh, with a more limited range of options than are available to customers of other financial institutions. It is in this spirit that the central bank has written to all credit unions to make them aware of the pilot so that the credit unions uh, can decide whether their, their participation is in the interest of their members, including members with uh, distressed mortgage debts across multiple lenders. Credit unions have been invited by the Central Bank to a nationwide information seminars on the pilot scheme to discuss its objectives and its approach. The Irish League of Credit Union has been invited to attend at these sessions and to provide input. Notwithstanding their official stance on the pilot programme, the Irish League of Credit Unions has played a constructive role in working with the Central Bank and other lenders to address this difficult issue, and credit unions continue to have an important role to play in supporting distressed borrowers. The Central Bank initiatives in the mortgage arrears area, in particular the mortgage arrears targets uh, uh, initiative announced last March, and the recent announcement regarding the framework pilot and the development of a coordinated, holistic and voluntary approach uh, by secured and unsecured lenders is consistent with the overall um, approach of government to deal with um, a mortgage arrears problems. In particular, the government, while significantly modernising Ireland's bankruptcy and insolvency law and procedures, has also advocated and encouraged borrowers and lenders to address situations of debt difficulty uh, where possible on a bilateral and informal basis. And the recent central bank initiatives should underpin this process. Taken together, the framework is in place to enable banks to work with distressed uh, home owners to reach sustainable solutions for dealing uh, with their personal indebted situations. Two minutes for... Uh Deputy Nash for a supplementary statement. Thank you very much, Mr. Um, Coral. Thank you very much, Minister, for your um, comprehensive um, reply. Uh, I note that the pilot framework is being initiated in June, and I wish this process well. Uh, I think uh, it does form part of the government's holistic approach uh, in terms of dealing with personal uh, indebtedness and mortgage arrears in particular, uh, a situation that has bedeviled this country for far too long. Uh, and at the very least it can be said that this government is trying to take a coherent, coordinated and comprehensive approach to dealing with the um, problems experienced uh, by far too many Irish people to ensure that they can again become uh, economic uh, actors to the fullest extent um, possible. Uh, it's welcome as well that this particular initiative is being tested in advance of the full rollout of the personal insol insolvency uh, service. Uh, the approach does need to be uh, holistic. Uh, and it needs to take in as many uh, institutions uh, operating in the economy and in society uh, as is possible and as is practicable. Uh, it has been my experience, uh, and indeed I'm sure the experience of 
most members of this House who are familiar with the uh, work of the credit unions, uh, that they have been actively engaging uh, on a bilateral basis uh, with uh, individuals and families uh, who are in distress. Uh, and I would be hopeful uh, that uh, some of the concerns expressed on a formal basis by the Irish Legal Credit Unions can be addressed uh, by the uh, central bank and by the Department of Finance uh, if necessary, because it is, it is very important we recognise their fundamental role in our economy, uh, the fact that they are very important economic actors in our community, uh, and that people have a very deep attachment as well to the uh, credit union movement. Uh, the People's Bank, as it has often been described, uh, institutions that uh, have been available uh, from a lending and saving point of view for many, many thousands of people uh, across the country over the years who haven't uh, had access to the um, main uh, high street uh, banks uh, to the extent that they might have. So uh, I know that the Minister is very conscious of the issues that I raise. Uh, I would ho be, hope that the Irish League of Credit Unions uh, can have some of their concerns addressed uh, through this process uh, and that they may feel uh, at some stage soon to be in a position to maybe formally engage in this process again if their concerns can be addressed. Come on, Mr. Two minutes for the Minister to um, conclude. I very much w welcome the remarks by the, the Deputy. Um, we are all in new space here since the passage of the personal insolvency legislation and the very, very clear setting of targets by the government in March of this year in terms of making progress. And I think both of us would agree that we need to make progress. Now, this is one arm of the, the progress agenda uh, which is now being uh, rolled out by the central bank. As the deputy rightly points out, Glasgow Court, this is a pilot, uh, hopefully obtaining 750 cases. And in any kind of pilot, we're learning and we're road testing something uh, as part, hopefully, of a wider scheme that needs to be uh, rolled out across people uh, with a, a mortgage distress situation. In this case, of course, uh, it is unique in that it's dealing with people with secured and unsecured debt. And that is the kind of catch-all holistic approach which the deputy referred to that we want to see. Now, I, on behalf of the Minister for Finance, I reiterate what, what the deputy said. We want to see the, the Irish League of Credit Unions involved. I know that is the position of the central bank. I hope that some of their misgivings about the scheme thus far can be um, resolved uh, by way of discussions and, and participation. And we're, we, we need to learn from them as to how the scheme can be applied in a more exacting way to their requirements and to their customers who are crucial to a resolution of this. So uh, I think it might be useful if the contents of this debate and the very positive initiative that the deputy ta took in, in tabling this, um, this issue at last time, Corla, might be uh, transmitted uh, to the central bank. I will ensure that that happens they will be aware of your remarks and indeed the remarks on behalf of myself in the Department of Finance and their constructive engagement with the credit unions so that a positive outcome from this pilot is, is obtained so that we can roll out a more um, far-reaching scheme into the future. Thank you, Minister. Uh, 